Jonathan. Oh, almost forgot. Brock, this is our new friend Mimir. We've, We've met. met. Oh, why didn't you say so? He, he knows, knows why. why. I, I know why. why. You, know, you why. know why. Quiet. No more of this. Know what? I'm sorry I brought it up. Can't you and Sindri just patch things up? Whatever happened couldn't be all that bad. You're family. Now don't be lecturing me about family. I ain't the one what forgot what her name stood for. What we made, the weapons we made were legendary across nine realms for more years than I can count. You just don't throw that away on account of one bad... One bad what? You One bad nothing. Ain't you got somewhere to be? So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Mimir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm. Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy. A certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. on this beach.
looky who decided to show. Talk to this here ring. Uh, what? I can't hear thoughts from rings, Brock. It's talking to me! It's Anvari! Ha! Knew it. He says he went to the Velander Mines to... observe his mistake. But then the Soul Eater attacked, so as he was being ripped apart, he cast a spell that removed his soul and put in this ring. And then he... What about all his stuff? Uh, huh? Anvari had a workshop here with all sorts of posh doodads and ornatory tools. And one beaut of a hammer. You make mention of it still in there? Uh, you're upsetting him. Your point? You fellas take Anvari with you and go have a look-see. If you find his hammer, I'll whip up something real nice for you. Hey now, don't go forgetting your entry stone. Kavari isn't happy about us taking his stuff. I do not care. I'm not gonna tell him that. Enemies. Just give the word. Anvari says this dwarf was part of his crew, that he died because of his mistakes. He sounds... sad. The ring's grief is of little importance, boy. like that. He's warning us not to go down there. Stop listening to the ring, boy. It cannot be trusted. Oh, my God. 
What awful thing! Silence that ring, boy. I don't know how! Solely. And a traveler. Guard up. Here. Boy. Yes, sir. Treasure map. All right.
Hmm. A dead soul eater. What's a soul eater even doing here? What do you mean it's your fault? Boy, ignore him. It's sort of tough for me to ignore. He says this chest will trigger a bunch of traps. I see no traps. You sounded so sure about it. workshop is up there but I know I know don't trust the talking ring prepare yourself Oh, my God. 
Father, please, just listen. Navari's crew did something bad here. He's glad you destroyed his life. And he's sorry he kept trying to trick us. His hammer is just through this gate. Boy. Sir. Okay. That's going in the journal. Is a fine hammer. Invari says thank you. Shall we keep him? We will talk to the blue one. To find that hammer, or you're too busy looting every keyhole and cranny. Here, the alchemist's hammer. His spirit is a nuisance. Yeah, Anvari always was an asshole. Hell of an alchemist, though. Hand him over here, and I'll melt him down. What? You're going to melt down your friend? A trapped soul's what I need to give your reward some extra oomph. You don't want it, Father? We can't do that. Here, you hold on to him. He's really useful, I promise. Fine. So long as he proves his worth. Kid's a bit of a softy, huh? Well, he'll grow out of it. Hey, Brock.
found something interesting. Did you now? Well, color me interested. See you boys ran afoul of some travelers. Or them travelers ran afoul of you more like. Who are they? What do they want? Dunno! Boy, you ask a lot of questions. All right, what'd you break? Moving on then. <laughs> 